from San Francisco. Girl Meets Fork, Susie Tim found some really cool things. And I, we were just talking about the show. It's, first of all, this, this is like a foodie show. It's like the oh. ultimate foodie show. It's not open to the public, right? No, it is the mecca of all things food. And it is an industry show. So buyers from grocery stores and restaurants all across the country, plus all these great people who make these products and who are just really trying to get their products out there and into stores. So yeah. it's, it's really fun. It's, it's three days of eating your face off, as I like to say. So. <laughs> All right, so will these, are these your picks? Are these, these are just my cool picks. things that you found Some and you brought them, them back for us? I'm an official trend spotter for the show, which is a super honor because I get to it sit is. on a panel with like real live legitimate journalists and me. How did that work? <laughs> And, you are. Uh, <laughs> and uh, pick some trends, but so some are the trends we spotted, but others, all of these are just my favorites from okay, the show. Okay, I so, like it. Where, which side? Well, do you we'll start down here. This okay. is the average Joe artisan bread kit. This is one of my favorite things I've ever seen. Literally, in that pot, you make bread in your own oven. So there's no bread maker. It takes literally 30 seconds from mixture into the pot into the oven. It's an amazing thing. You make bread, and this this is like one of those like. Like it's not even a cast iron no. or bread maker it's a machine. Bread pot. It's just mm -hmm. wow. And does this just call come as a kit? It does come as a kit, so you can order that online. And I know we have all this information online, so people right. can find that. Yeah, out. so you don't have to worry about you know if you find something you like, just go to the website afterwards. Yes. Okay. So Rogue Creamery came out here with this blue cheese powder, which is a very interesting product. It is their famous blue cheese. You can use it on popcorn and in salad dressings, oh. and it's it's really really delicious. Um, so I found that bacon also, mm -hmm. bacon made a comeback this year. Um, took a little hiatus for a while, back with a vengeance. Some, some different actual uncured artisanal bacon products from Audi Lice de Bois, great pork company um, that I just love and, and you can find their products online as well. Oh my gosh, look at these. Let me hold these, these up. Are these are awesome. So are these cured or uncured? Um, one is cured, one is uncured, but they have all sorts of flavors and you know, it doesn't, I mean, if you're cooking it, it doesn't really, it's not going to. It's right. Matter, so. right. <laughs> and you know what? You're right. Bacon has, because I don't know um, if you've, you know, a, a loyal follower of Sonoran Living Life, you know that we've done bacon ice cream, bacon oh, yeah. uh, cupcakes, bacon, you name bacon, it. Bacon, bacon everything. everything. Two more cool bacon things. We have a bacon spread that's just fennel and black pepper on a sandwich, and then that is bacon and chive dip from Terrapin Ridge Farms. And what would you, what would you use this for? Like potato chips, chips celery, and, 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 it's, oh, and it's outstanding. Oh flavor. my God. You, you would love it. Okay. Um, so I love sauerkraut. I'm from Wisconsin. This is the fit. My favorite sauerkraut I've ever tried. It's from Sonoma Brinery out of California, and it's dill and garlic flavored sauerkraut. So Oops. it's uh, it just it's such a unique flavor. Great on bratwurst. Great in all those German dishes. I just love it. Mm. Um, in the world of spices and oils, so much to talk about. I love these oils. These are from Stoger, and these are pumpkin seed, cherry seed, and tomato seed oils. So they're not olive oil, olive based. They're actually based on the seed of the actual product. Wow. So I've just never seen anything like it. Super creative. And what do you do with them? Um, drizzle them on, again, salads, and you can use them in sweet applications as well, but it's just a brand new product, never seen before. Cherry seed oil. Who Love knew? that. Love that idea. Um, o Olive Oils, which is my favorite olive oil company, come, came out with this basil oil. It is the best basil flavor I've ever tasted in an oil. It just hits your tongue, amazing. It would be great on a caprese salad, something like that. Oh, so mm, good. Yummy. Um, Make I'm not hungry. a big hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big hot sauce person, but if you like a sriracha or an Asian hot sauce, this Kim Kim sauce, it's a Sophie Gold winner, and Sophie is the award that the Fancy Food Show gives. It's like the Oscars of food. This one this summer blew my mind as a hot sauce. Outstanding. No kidding. A um, couple other things. Egyptian spice blends are popular this year. That's from Gary and Kitts of Napa Valley. Those are Duca spice blends you use on, on meat and all sorts of other ways to, to rub different things down. Awesome. Mm. Um, banana, big trend we found. This is Barnana. So I don't know if you want to try that. This is a chewy banana bite mm. covered in chocolate. Let me show that so kind of um, an interesting snack. Lots of potassium. Also PB mm. Crave. PB Crave has a line of unique peanut butters, and one of the, their peanut butters was this cocoa banana peanut butter. So chocolate and banana and peanut butter all together. Huh, kind of hard to go Hello, wrong with that. Hello, what about this? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking See, about right you, there. Uh, you got mm -hmm, it down. Mm -hmm. um, this is the most unique thing I found at the show. This is Numi Organic Tea Savory Tea Line. Broccoli Cilantro Tea. Let me tell you, when I heard what? about it, I was like, no, no, people. Broccoli Cilantro Tea? Oh, yes. Trust me on this one. Tomato mint, broccoli cilantro, they have curry carrot, all of these different flavors. Not a tea, obviously, that you would put anything sweet in, mm -hmm. but such a great, if you had a cold or if you just wanted a unique flavor profile, 
outstanding product. Okay, I'm going to get this to our director, Kristen. <laughs> Kristen, this is coming to you. You are going to have some broccoli cilantro tea. It's, it's outstanding. Gluten-free, still very big, coming out with even better flavors. This is a no-bake cookie um, from the No-Bake Cookie Company. And they're just, you know, chewy and delicious, kind of a All natural, oatmeal. All natural, gluten-free. Really good. Wild Ophelia chocolate. This is the Road Trip Chocolate Bars. This is a New Orleans-style chili chocolate flavor. Um, it comes in barbecue potato chip, orange hibiscus, I mean, or peach hibiscus, outstanding. So flavors from all across the United States. Very, very, very good. Okay, and last but not well, least. We have cocktail cranberries to go in your cocktails, a line of juices from Wild Poppy, Secret Squirrel, in case you want to wash any of that down. Yeah. Secret Squirrel co Cold Brew Coffee, which is outstanding. And finally, one of my other favorites, which is the Vignette Rosé soda, so non-alcoholic wine soda. All right, Crazy. here's the deal. I know that we have certainly whet your appetite, um, no pun intended, but um, all of the information is on the website because I know a lot of these things are brand new, right. but you can find out where to get them or when they're going to be here, possibly order them online. Yes. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Sure.